And if Northam does step down, next in line to secede him is Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. But Fairfax also fighting a serious allegation after a woman claims he sexually assaulted her. His staff releasing a statement denying those claims. John Gonzalez is following this angle of the story. 39-year-old Justin Fairfax is the current lieutenant governor here in Virginia. He's also the former assistant United States attorney for the Commonwealth. Now, if the current governor, Ralph Northam, is forced to resign, Fairfax would automatically step in. Now, the former federal prosecutor made partner here at the law firm of Morrison and Forrester and Tysons in 2018, working commercial litigation. He would become only Virginia's second African-American governor. He is young, charismatic, and part of that blue wave that has been sweeping through the state. But he also finds himself today connected to some controversy. Fairfax is now threatening legal action against a conservative website over what he calls defamation and false sexual assault allegations. Justin Fairfax, what do you know about him? Not that much. <laughs> Not that much. But I, I would say it is time for a governor to step down. You I do believe so? I think it's, it's gone too far. It's lost the trust of the people and it's time to, to, to step down. Fairfax is a descendant of a Virginia slave who was emancipated in the late 1700s, and he now joins a long list of Democrats who have voiced their opinions. He believes Governor Northam should step down. In Tyson's, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.